I'm a pediatric neuro-oncologist and I study high-grade gliomas in children. These gliomas occur in very specific regions of the brain at very specific ages, suggesting that there is something developmental that is going wrong as these tumors arise in kids. Trying to understand that, we had previously uh, looked at neural precursor cell populations uh, present at the time and place that these tumors arise. And we found a, a very interesting neural precursor population that molecularly appeared to be consistent with an early myelin-forming precursor cell that's present in exactly the right time and exactly the right place um, to be a potential cell of origin for a, a type of pediatric tumor called diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma. In previous work, we had shown that neuronal activity changes the proliferation of myelin-forming precursor cells within that active circuit. And in the healthy brain, that's an important way that experience and, and subsequent neuronal activity um, affects the structure and therefore function of the brain. The proliferation-inducing or growth-inducing effects of neuronal activity were, are fairly robust. And it, it made me wonder if a similar physiology was being hijacked by glioma cells. We found that, indeed, neuronal activity robustly promotes the proliferation and overall growth of high-grade glioma. But it had not been previously recognized that, that using your brain promotes the growth of a cancer arising within it. It's, it's very tricky of the glioma cells. They're, they're hijacking mechanisms of normal neural plasticity to promote growth. And if you think about treating these brain cancers like trying to fight a forest fire, it's as though we've recognized there is some sort of accelerant seeking up, seeping up from the soil, uh, something like gasoline. The answer is clearly not to not use your brain. Patients need to think and learn and use language and experience life, and, and you, not using one's brain is clearly not an option. Um, I think that the therapeutic opportunity is to target the specific mechanisms mediating neuronal activity regulated glioma growth. And we've identified some really intriguing therapeutic targets that were not previously appreciated. If we can find clever ways of, of targeting uh, that mechanism therapeutically, then we could offer a new set of therapies for patients with this set of devastating diseases. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.